No, I'm not rubbing your belly now, Jess. I'm making a video, love. In a minute. Promise. Go on. Hi guys, welcome back to uh, to another video. I um, haven't done one for a, a few weeks for one reason and another. Um, but I watched a video in the week um, that Tim Day put out about macro photography and it sort of uh, got me thinking about what I could be doing at home. So we recently put the tree up and um, I thought I'd get the macro lens out and see what I can pick off the tree, off the branches. We've got some like pine combs and that attached to it all over and different types of berries that are on it. As well as all the decorations that we put on it. Yeah, I know, it's Christmas. Yeah, that time of year again, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Um, so I thought, well, get the camera out and uh, let's see what we can get. Okay, so the first shot I'm taking is actually of the end of one of the branches. Um, and I've sort of focused right on the center of the branch and all the little green, green pines are sort of um, splaying out around it to give like a fan effect. And I think it's making quite a nice image myself. Um, I'm in manual mode on the camera um, and I'm at a quarter per second at f10 ISO 100 and I'm using my ring flash on the front but no diffusers whatsoever I want to keep that really sort of natural look. So I'm going to play around with the tree with the camera and, uh, and the macro lens and uh, see what I can find. Okay, so I've just taken a photo of one of the baubles and it looks like it's got like a like a cracked sort of surrounding on it. It's not cracked, it's sort of just like a like a pattern, a bit like you find in a bubble. Um, so I've got a nice up shot, up close shot of that, um, but I've just noticed that the little plastic holder that's holding the bauble to the actual tree it's got some nice little patterns on it. Um, so I'm going to see if I can get in nice and close on one of those. Okay, so when you're doing this sort of shot, it's still important to remember your composition. Just because you're doing macro photography, your composition still your composition still makes still makes the photo what it is. Um, I could get in nice and tight and click 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 and get it, but instead of doing that, I'm actually getting in a position where the actual bauble itself is just in the bottom of the frame, and I've actually got the detailed bit holding it, actually holding the um, the bauble off on the tree. And I've got that on a slight angle so it gives it just a little bit more interest than just a bauble hanging there with a, a plastic um, detailed ring around the top of it. Um, I'm manually, manually focusing um, this time rather than moving the tripod around. Um, I might be able to get a little bit, a little bit closer. I want to try and get just a little bit of that bauble in if I can. That's too close. Okay, right, now we're talking. So yeah, it's, the shot is literally about the detail that's on the ring around it. Um, which is what I'm aiming to focus on and actually when you get in close it's actually shapes of snowflakes I think. I think I'm just about Bare minimum, right, that is it. Blimey. <laughs> okay, and because of the light from the from the window behind you, it's making the background look really dark on that. So yeah, I think I think this could be quite a nice 
I think this could be quite a nice shot actually. I'm gonna take this down to uh, a real shallow depth of field. I'm gonna go F3.5 for now. I'm using the 10 second timer. That's giving me a three, uh, 2.5 second exposure. Use the 10 second timer, so I'm gonna take that shot and see how that comes out. I'm gonna step away because I've got a wooden floor. Okay, so that's just slightly overexposed on that one. I'm just going to bring that down to a second exposure at 3.5 and we'll try again. Okay, so a little bit of working post and uh, I think that's a really nice shot. So, I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, just goes to show that you can get the macro lens out at any time of the year, really. It doesn't really matter. It's not just about bugs and flowers. Um, these things that are on the tree make great subjects and they can actually make great photographs. So, thanks to Tim for the inspiration for getting the camera back out again. I've just been very, very busy. It's uh, not losing interest or anything like that. I've just been very, very busy. Um, I've been working a bit more than I probably would have done normally because I've got quite a big event coming up next year which I'll let you know about a bit further into next year. I'm really, really excited about it and it's uh, yeah, going to take my photography I think right up to the next level hopefully. So uh, I'll tell you more about that later in the year. If you've enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up, give it a share. Thanks ever so much for watching. I wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And I'll see you soon. Bye for now.